Hey guys, it's Sunday, and on Sunday lunch, we love eating steaks. So today I'm gonna cook some steaks on my trusty Weber Genesis. It's an old horse. I had it for the past say six or seven years, and um, it, it has been doing wonders, and that's why I love Webers. Okay, so we're gonna go to the kitchen, get some preparations done, and then come back here. Today we have uh, some lamb cutlets and some beautiful New York strips. Now what we've done with that is just a massage with olive oil and a sprinkle of coarsely ground black, black pepper. I'm not putting salt at this point and the reason is I personally enjoy putting salt, rock salt, after the steak is ready, just before I'm eating it. Okay, so now this has been ready for a couple of minutes already. We're going to leave it another half an hour on the countertop and I'm going to go and light up my grill. Cool, the grill has heated up. So we're gonna open this and start scraping it because the grates will need to be very, very clean. Here we have our meat. We're gonna start grilling soon. All I'm waiting for is for the grill to get to about 250C. It would be just a shy less than 500 Fahrenheit. So once it's there, we're gonna start. So now we start, it's about 250. My grates are ready. I'm gonna be start putting the steaks on the grill. If you remember, I told you that we have some lamb cutlets today and we have some New York strips. So we will start with the New York strips because they take longer to cook. So what I do, I take a nice steak and I just put it diagonally to the grate, like this. Yeah. Right. And now, those little babies are gonna go like this. Alright, so now this is on. And I'm going to close the lid and see how this behaves because very often what happens is the fat which is dripping from the steaks creates the flare-ups and we're going to be very very careful with that because we don't want to burn steak. Although any flare-up that goes under 10 seconds is actually good for you because fire is flavor, fire is the looks of the steak, so don't be too afraid of that. We're about one and a half minutes through and I hear some flare-ups going on and you're going to hear this. So I'm going to look at it and now actually it all sounds very, very good. So in another minute, what I will do, I'll give them a turn of about 90 degrees to make this nice cross snatch um, grill marks on it. But for now, they're going to go back in. Two and a half minutes in. I do two things. First, the turn of the steaks. So, I will bring it up. And I'm gonna turn it about 90 degrees like this. Now, with the lamp cutlets, basically these guys take much less to cook, so what I do is I'm just turning them off. Turning, I'm just turning them and checking if anything else is needed, but now they look simply beautiful. Just look at those grill marks. Off it goes, another two minutes. 
we're about another two minutes in so overall four and a half five minutes we're gonna open and we're gonna take a look so first of all what we see here on top of the steak we see some blood spots that means that it's time to turn it and the reason is that the blood the fire has been pushed the blood up and the bottom side is around medium so we're gonna do the flip just take a look have a look at that this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about steak so I just flipped it like this and that's what it's gonna go now look at this this is the cross edge this is the sizzling that I've been looking for okay so these are to spend another four four and a half minutes but have a look at the lamp cutlets now the lamb cutlets are thinner and much more tender so basically I think that the bottom side needs just another minute or so and then we can eat them because I prefer my lamb what's called a rose doneness degree which is kind of equivalent to medium well pretty much it's a little bit pinkish inside so yeah we're gonna wait another minute and take them off and what we're gonna have is what my good friends from uh, barbecue pit boys call the pit master's player privilege two minutes in we are taking off these little babies they're just where we should be I'm gonna show this you this in a second, but these so these steaks receive a quarter turn as well. Because we want them to be right where they are. Now what I do, I do a poke test. And these are to me just a shy of the medium, which is perfect. Now here we go. This is what we call the pit master's privilege. This lamp cutlet, and I'm gonna take the first bite. Well, I could say I apologize for eating in front of you like that, but nah. Hmm. This is great. All right, guys, this is it. It's time to take those babies off. Now what I'm doing, I'm putting them on a pan here, basically with some foil in, like this. That's it, I'm turning off the grill for now, letting it cool. But the most important thing, what I do, is the following, I basically, I'm going now to fold it over like this and let it rest for about five minutes before I'm gonna cut it. We'll see each other in five minutes. The steak have, steaks have rested, so now we're gonna take one and give it a nice slice. We'll open this one and I will grab I will grab this. Have a look at this little baby. There we go. So I've got my knife here. I'm gonna start slicing it. And we can see here how nicely medium that is. show you a close up in a moment so you can see how beautiful it came out that's it now we're gonna eat bye